Hello, hello, Profe, buenas noches. Don Atilio, buenas noches. 
Hola, hola, quiero saber. Qué quiero saber. Qué día, ¿no? Hola, me escucha. Y sí, profe, le... Ah, oh, sí, me escucha. Me escucha bien. Estoy con... Con unos audífonos inalámbricos. Si el micrófono está funcionando bien. Good evening. Let's forget about the earbuds. What about now? What about now? Can you hear me now? Now? Is better? Okay. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I, I have to confess, what is the situation? The thing is that I'm, I'm coming from, from San Miguel right now, and I didn't make it home. 
no alcancé, no he alcanzado a llegar a casa. Entonces, me he estacionado por aquí en un Dennis, aquí en Santa Tecla, para poder estar con ustedes. No alcanzo a llegar a casa antes de, de la clase, ¿no? Eso se llama compromiso. Y estaba probando por eso. No sé, ¿ahorita se escucha el sonido ambiente? ¿No? ¿No se escucha? Se escucha como que están vendiendo. <risa> ¿Se escucha o no se escucha? No, solo a mí. ¿Se escucha? Ok. Sí, es que con los audífonos, los ear, earbuds absorben más el sonido ambiente. Entonces, la verdad, por eso mejor ya los quité y estoy solo con el, con el de la laptop. ¿Verdad? Pero bueno, así es. Eso, eso pasa. La cosa es que... Eh, bueno, yo estuve el fin de semana allá en San Miguel y hoy que ya veníamos, venía a tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero resulta que el bus que abordamos, una súper especial. Este, a la media cuadra nos bajó, nos dijo pásense a otro. Y nos pasaron a uno ordinario. No sucio, sin baño, eh, sin aire acondicionado. Venir desde allá en esas condiciones. No, no. Nos bajamos. Esperamos el siguiente. Con la sorpresa de que era el mismo del que nos acababan de bajar. O sea, solo fue el truco de cobrarnos los cinco dólares y pasar a un bus viejo. ¿Verdad? Aprovecharon el bug. No, oh, no, no. Qué treta más fea. Entonces, por eso llegamos un poco más tarde y ya no alcancé a llegar a casa. Pero aquí estamos, listos para trabajar. Ready to rumble, como dicen en, en las luchas. Okie dokie. So, let's take the first attendance. That's why you'll see. Wanna see my coffee? Ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm at tennis right now. Okay, let's take the first attendance. But uh, I I like to know if I can hear you. Can you say something, please? Can you anyone speak to me? I want to hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm not listening. That's Good wrong. evening. Let me check. What's I listen to you very clear. Better than speaker. Speaker. Let me tell my speaker. Okay. Speak to me, please. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, okay, now I can hear you now. Okay, great. Okay. I was writing in the chat. Okay, very good. Okay, let's take the first attendance. Please respond present. Is Atilio Ernesto Castillo? Present. Excellent. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present. Welcome. Eric Edemilson Escobar. Present teacher. Good evening. Eric Jose Hernández. Present. Okay, Eric Jose, the personal session is with you tonight. Okay. Okay, there you are. Okay, so if we have, if you have questions, okay, ask me your questions. If if you don't have questions, we can practice. If you don't, if we don't practice, we can gossip. We can we can gossip. You know what is gossip? Do you know what gossip is? No. 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 Okay, we can chambrear. <laughs> gossip. 
Gossip. Gossip. Gossip. G-O-S-S-I-P. Gossip. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Hi, Evelyn. Did you come Hi. back from San Miguel? Uh, <laughs> are you are you still in San Miguel? No. Um, I'm just coming back from San Miguel. Yes. Me. me. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, me. I'm coming back from San Miguel. In, today. in next Saturday. No, no. I'm talking about me. I don't know. Me. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just coming back from San Miguel. Me. Okay. You. Acabo de regresar yo. Estoy regresando de San Miguel. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> it was terrible. Okay, good. <laughs> Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Okay, there you are. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Good evening. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you, Hernan? Ah, I see you. Present. Hello, yes, good. Okay. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher, pero voy manejando. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, sure, Tony, let me. It's G O S. I'm not sure if S S I P or. One S. Gossip. Gossip. Yeah, that is. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Very good. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here, present teacher. Perfect. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Great. The boss. Yeah, the boss. <laughs> Luis Miguel Corbera. Present. Welcome. Marcos Vidal Gumaña. Present. Marcos. Present. Okay. Yo creo que no comió ahora. Nelson Orlando Tejada. There, I, I didn't hear you, Nelson. Present. Ah, okay. Uh, Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present teacher, present. Deme unos minutos, voy en tráfico ya. Y aquí ok. Ok. René Viene Alexander. un bus de San Miguel. ¿Ah? Viene un bus de San Miguel también. <risa> que hablan fuera, que hablan fuera. René Alessandro, Teresón. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, René. Ruth Abigail Brito. Um, Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present, teacher. Perfect. Welcome. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay. Leima Rosibel Catalán. No. Jorge Luis Martínez. Present teacher. Perfect. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Perfect. Okay, last class. Finish talking about the. Ah, we were. You were going to talk 
about your the classmate you interviewed. Remember? You talk with another classmate about their activities at, at work. So today you are going to tell us about, not about you, but about your classmate, right? Remember? Right. We finished yes, I remember. With, that, with that activity, okay? So who wants to volunteer? Who wants to start first? Talking about his or her classmate. Come on. I want to talk about Fernando. Okay, Luis Miguel, go ahead, Luis. I talked about Fernando activities at work. He sends and uh, receives products. He checks his email. He cleans his computer. He doesn't call to client. He doesn't prepare reports. He doesn't visit clients. Okay, oh, perfect. That, that, who was that for Jose Fernando? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you, Luis. Okay, Luis Miguel, choose the, choose the next victim. I mean, the next participant, <laughs> the next volunteer. Absolutely, Jose Fernando. Jose Fernando, okay. It's my okay. partner. Okay, Jose Fernando, uh, tell us about okay. Luis. Luis, he updates reports, he sends sales data to sellers, he supervises sales staff. Uh, Luis, he doesn't collect money, he doesn't have access to warehouse, he, he doesn't eat fast food anymore. Really? You don't eat fast food? Very healthy. No more pupusas. Okay. Okay, Jose Fernando, choose the next victim. Uh, Jorge Martinez. Jorge Martinez. Jorge. Right. Wait a minute. I have the answer on my computer. Okay. We wait. No problem. Another person while mine is waiting. I have a problem with the computer. It's turn turn on. Okay, so choose somebody else, Jorge, and we come back to you later. Okay. Is Jennifer eh, eh, Rene Alessandro? Jennifer Rene, what? Es que eh, la primera persona que mencioné creo que va manejando. Entonces, ah, no ok, decir. ok. So Rene. Ok, Rene Alessandro, your turn. 
Good evening, teacher. Um, Good evening. My partner is, is not here. No problem. He, Tell us about it. I don't remember my name. Of, of, you don't remember her name? Sorry. The name. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. We suppose that this Maria. Maria, she is a store manager. Um, she told me that their activities is art, excuse me. Um, oh, I don't remember. Um, Take notes? Uh, <laughs> you didn't take notes about her activities? I am lost my my notes. I knew a weekend was I too don't much. Know where I am. Okay, choose someone else and let's wait. Let's okay. wait. Possible. Okay, I don't know, Mr. Mr. Ruth. She is my partner. Ooh. She now is here. She now is here. Okay, but how are you going to tell us about her? Okay. She's Right now, he's gone. That's weird. Okay, choose someone else, Renee. Um, Mr. Marcos, who mine? Marcos. Hello. Um, no estoy seguro, creo que era, era Jennifer, Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo, creo que era. Um, she may call you, uh, so she may call you, uh, she checks your email, she check, check who of your Passing of as control and no second. Um, she checked are you technician how give me the the term wet she doesn't make report she doesn't have meeting every weekend she doesn't visit client and she doesn't the, Determine in client. Okay. Okay. Who's next? Thank you. How's the ball, Mark? Um. Yeah, no pasa. A lot of people. Ah, Mr. Massa. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. Me tocó. ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué se ha hecho? Ya se fue. Bueno, era ella. Y she. Um, she attend clients. She take inventory of TV, um, cell phone. Y she write report sellers. Seller. Um, Tony, ¿cómo se dice promociones? Paid and sales, offers, offers. Entonces sería she called claims offers. Y lo, la otra parte, eh, she doesn't. Eh, Late at work, she doesn't drink coffee in the morning, 
and finish. She doesn't go to war on Tuesday. Hey, pass the ball. Uh, no, Tony. Con gusto. A mí me tocó este, entrevistar a Jennifer Aquino. Aquí está la niña Jennifer. Ahí, ahí en la villa. Sí. Okay. Um, when I talk with her, uh, I ask, what do you do at work? And um, she checks documents of sales of the store. She attends meetings with the boss. Attends meetings with the boss. She writes accounting reports and makes the payroll. She makes taxes or Hacienda reports. And when I uh, ask for what activities she don't do at work, she responds that uh, she don't clean the office, she don't sleep in the office, and she don't call clients. Si se duerme, si se duerme. Is in mute, teacher. Your microphone is mute. Is muted. Yeah, sorry. Choose the next one, please. Uh, my partner, uh, Jennifer Aquino. Mamuna Jennifer. Vaya. He analysis sales report of the Western Sun. He organizes meet, meeting with his staff and distributor. His visit the sales team of the different department of the Western Sun. He doesn't cell phone. He doesn't supervise sales team or day long. He doesn't meet with the sales team every morning. Okay, good. Next, please. Next, Jennifer. Mm. With Miguel. Teacher, I'm ready. Oh, Rene is ready. Okay, let's go with Rene. With Miguel did it already. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. Go okay. ahead. Okay, um, my partner, she works how a store manager. Um, she writes reports daily. Um, she checks um, her email and WhatsApp. And she calls to the customer offering the wins on, on sale. And also, she doesn't cook, she doesn't wash the dishes, and she doesn't clean in the work zone. And only that, teacher. Okay, very good. Yeah. Pass the ball. No, I find my notes. <laughs> Excuse me? Pass the ball, choose the next one. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Hey, Nelson. Hello. Uh, I have a conversation with uh, Suleima Catalan. The daily activities of our she checks your emails. Um, she prepares a meeting, and Suleima Catalan takes an inventory. Um, the activities that she does and do not hear for because. They score her. Um, she doesn't hit in the office. She doesn't watch the TV on the work. 
and she doesn't have break. Break. Okay. Only that. Okay. Next. Okay. Let's do something. Um, All right. Uh, raise your raise the hand. The ones that already um, presented her, her his or her partner. Los que ya participaron, raise your hand, please. The virtual hand. Los que ya pasaron. I promise. Virtual hand. Yeah, virtual hand. Para saber los que ya pasaron. Okay. Nelson, raise your hand. Okay, the next one. Um, Pero levanta la mano virtual, Nelson, para saber que ya pasaste. Que ya... Perfect. Okay. Who's next? My, my turn. I'm ready. George. Ah, Jorge. Okay, George. Thank you. George is ready. My partner was Eden Nilsson. Uh, he writes report. It's an email. He drinks a coffee, he designs application, he has a meeting. She doesn't. He doesn't in her work, in his work. He doesn't clean his stuff. He doesn't edit report. He doesn't reply his computer. He doesn't turn on the air, air conditioning. He start the meeting. Okay. It's on. Okay, pass the ball and raise your hand because you, you did it already. My partner, my partner, Eden Nilsson. Okay. Okay, my friend was Jorge Martinez. He collect money for the client. He make call for the another business. He count money, he receive bills. He send email every day. Uh, he doesn't clean your his office. He doesn't make coffee. He doesn't make salads. He doesn't have daily meetings. He doesn't not do repair. Perfect. Okay, choose the next one, please. Eric, choose the next one. Eric Jose. Okay, Ocayo. <laughs> Raise your hand, uh, Nilsson. Uh, okay, uh, my, my parent is Sofia Carolina. Uh, Sofia uh, filing boys. Sofia, Sofia take care of patients. Uh, Sofia still in the work. Uh, Sofia doesn't. Uh, Sofia doesn't have yet. Sofia doesn't do cleaning. Sofia doesn't collect bills. And Sofia doesn't check email. Okay. Very good. So pass the ball. My parent, Sofia Carolina. Okay, Sofia, your turn. Okay. Eli has started the laptop compu computer to work. Eli has helped him for the application. Eri has received recibe the, the report of payments. Eri uh, has up, color, up the report and server. Eri doesn't visit clients. So Eri doesn't supervise the work. Two of work, 
Eh, Eri Dosim World o aplicación Android. Eh, Eri Dosim Print C Documents. Sofía. And raise your uh, hand. William. Who? 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 Who is next? Sofía. ¿Quién sería? William. William, okay. Raise your virtual hand, Sofía. Okay, William. Hi. My, par my partner was Atilio. Activities that he does. Atilio supervisor team. Atilio trains the same team. Atilio drives his car at, at work. Activities that he doesn't do. He doesn't deliver, he says. He doesn't organize meetings. He doesn't send report for email. Perfect. Pass the ball, William. Where's my partner at Atilio? Atilio, go ahead. Um, my partner in Williams, Paniagua. Uh, William. Designer digital art for customer. William check email all, all days. William print file on the print. William doesn't drive the company truck. William doesn't uh, call Providence. Using all the tool. Finish. Okay. Please raise raise your virtual hand, Atilio and William, to, to see that you are, did it already. Thank you. Okay. Then we have Evelyn, Hernan, Consuelo. Jennifer, Gabriela, Jose, and Alexander. I am ready. Okay, Jennifer, Gabriela, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, my partner is Marcos Vidal Umaña. Um, he doesn't visit, visit client. He doesn't organize meetings. He doesn't listen to music. He doesn't use your laptop. And he is um, supervisor cell root wrote. He check your email. He writes a report. He updates a report. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Gabriela Consuelo, you want to be next? Este, my person is Jose Miguel. He attends the cleans. I doesn't sell dressing. I doesn't train stuff. That's it. Okay. Uh, good. Let's see, Evelyn. I see you. Your... Evelyn, can you talk about your partner? Yes. I asked my classmate Herman the question. Herman cleans in his work area. Uh, he prepares the material according 
to these sales invoices. He attended to customers. He doesn't wear security. He doesn't prepare invoice for clients. He doesn't like job of driver. Okay. Perfect. Hernan. Ready. Uh, my practice work with uh, Miss Evelyn Gomez. Uh, she checked her email early in the morning. And she hired office staff. Uh, she takes care of problem in the office. Uh, negative sentences. Uh, she doesn't watch TV in the office. She doesn't drink coffee in the office. She doesn't lunch at the office. And finish. Good. You don't drink coffee in the office, really? No, 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 no. That's bad. No. Bad. I don't like. <laughs> you don't like coffee? <laughs> okay. Um, Jose Abel. Good evening. Good evening. I remember my parents. Um, he picks genera generator electric. He does make electrical plants. He does make design of HVAC installation. And negative says he doesn't sleep in this in his work. He doesn't beer in his work. He doesn't work work. <laughs> okay. And finally, uh, uh, Alexander, Pedro Alexander. Yeah. Uh, uh, my partner is uh, Jose. You're freezing. He lost sign. Yeah. Okay, maybe. He comes. I will listen to him when he comes. Okay, some some comments here, guys. Let me write. Let me go to the more better. I will use the white word to give you some feedback about these practice. For example, um. I, I want you to write this sentence in the chat in English, okay? I want you to write this sentence in the chat in English. Okay. Write write that sentence in English, please, in the chat. Uh, Ah. 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 Okay. Ah. Well, remember. Remember. 
Henry checks. Remember that first. Okay. And second, he's. Yeah. It is is it because many of you said your. Which of you said the CN your? Yeah. Nos, sé que a veces nos cuesta decir ese porque en español solo tenemos una palabra su ¿verdad? su para él para ella, para ellos entonces tendemos a traducir ese su como your pero en inglés hay tres palabras diferentes para ese su actually four is her, its, and their. ¿Ya? Hay cuatro palabras para ese su que usamos en español. Porque, por ejemplo, ¿cómo traduciría? Ella... Hizo su café. What is, what is the translation for that? He has her coffee. Um, actually, it's better the, the verb make. Excuse she me. made her coffee. She makes made her her coffee her coffee uh -huh. make her coffee her her vea es el mismo su en español pero en inglés es her ya no you this. What about this? Ah, uh -huh. yes, Bonnie. No, 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 no. No. no, it's not his. You're talking about an animal. You're talking about an animal. In this case, it. It's. In this case, is it. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, no. It's it's oh. all right. It's, it's in Spanish it's bon. in Spanish su but in English it's right Take another one you. Yeah. Oh. What about what about that sentence? Again, in Spanish, the same word, sue. But in English. See, yes, William, that's correct. Yes, Tony. Uh huh, Evelyn. You see, I, I, deben tener ese cuidado de no confundir ese su con your. Varios me usaron ese 
es su con your. Me decían, she checks your email. My email? Oh, her email. So, be careful. There are, there are, there are different words. Is, her, it's, their. Yeah. Tienen que aprender a hacer esa diferencia ahí. ¿De quién están hablando? ¿Están hablando de él? Is. ¿Están hablando de ella? Her. ¿Están hablando de ellos? There. ¿Están hablando de él, un objeto, el carro, por ejemplo? Si usted quiere decir... Carro... Pita, su, su qué? Previsión. Sí. How do you say that? El carro necesita su revisión. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ya no me escribieron? How do you say that in English? Uh -huh. Remember third person. Okay, needs. Yes. The car needs. Esa es otra cosa que, que a muchos se les, les olvidó. The third person form. El verbo en tercera persona. The car needs get checked. Y tiene que escucharse esa, esa S al final. Yeah. The car needs its uh, review. Uh, review. The car needs it's otra cosa. Pueden decir revision or check up. ¿Verdad? Pero sí, the car needs its. Entonces, eso es algo en lo que tienen que poner atención. Otra cosa acá en la conversación también hay que ah. regresar. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened with the internet. Too many people here at Dennis. No, I'm I'm using my, my cell phone internet. Okay, sigamos viendo entonces oh, esto. Otra cosa. Algunos, algunos para decir. Eh, ella no eh, toma café. Algunos me dijeron es she don't drink coffee. Drink drinks. ¿Ah? Oh, no. That's incorrect. Why? ¿Qué está incorrecto eso? She doesn't. 
Okay, yes. Must be doesn't. She doesn't. Drink of a noise, don't. She doesn't. She doesn't. My partner doesn't. Um, Recosita que era el partner. Alguien me escuché solo para para. Partner no es lo mismo que parent. Ya yeah, no es lo mismo. Por ahí me dijeron my, my parent. ¿Verdad? Ya. Yeah, <laughs> Parents. No es lo mismo que partner. Y algunas palabritas que sí, este. Todavía ya las mencionamos la vez pasada. Organize. Pronunciation. Organize. Organize. Client. Client. ¿Verdad? No es client. No es organizer. Client. ¿Verdad? Organize. And client. Ok. Uh, detallitos ahí que tomar en cuenta. Ok. ¿Qué más? Muy bien. All right. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algún comentario? It's all right. Ok. Very good. Ok. So, let's go back to to the book. Nice lesson. Okay. Well, there are two questions here. Well, tonight's lesson, the objective is this. You will be able to talk about financial information and work perks. Okay, a couple of questions to discuss. How many days a week do you work? And how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? I will put you in groups to discuss these questions for a moment, okay? I want you to talk about that. In my case, how many days a week I work? Well, I work six days a week. I work from Monday to Saturday. Okay, I don't work on Sundays. Um, the second question is, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Well, uh, actually, I I don't have that number of amount of time, but I don't know. Two hours per class. Two hours per class in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And on Saturdays, I teach five hours from from seven a.m. to 12 uh, p.m. That, that's me. That's me. So what about you? How many days a week do you work? ¿Cuántos días a la semana? How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienes to complete your tasks, sus tareas en el trabajo? Yeah. Think about that. And discussing your groups, I will give you like like five, seven minutes to talk about that. Okay, but first I'm going to take the second attendance. It's time for the second attendance. 
yeah, it's there. So let's. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Erika de Nilsson Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Eric José Hernández. Present teacher. Perfect. Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Okay. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present teacher. Good. Jennifer Gabriel Arevalo. Jennifer Present Gab teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Okay. Jose Isabel Aguirre. Present. My name yes. is Isabel. Jose. Isabel. I said Isabel, right? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Juan Antonio Elias. Present. Okay. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Okay. Marcos Vidal Lumaña. Present. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Yeah. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Okay. René Alexandro Teresón. Here I am, teacher. Good. Ruth Abigail Brito. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Sofía Carolina, are you there? Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. I'm here. Good. Suleyma Rosibel Catalán. Oh. Eh, Jorge Luis Martínez. Present teacher. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Okay. okay, so I will give you a few minutes to discuss those two questions. Okay. How many days you work? You work and how much time you have at work. Okay. The groups. Okay, join your groups, please, and discuss for a moment.
Okay, welcome back. So, how many days do you work for at week? How many days do you work? Who works Six Friday? Days. Only? Six, Six days. Six days. Six days. Everybody work six days? No. no. I work six days, teacher. Tony is the boss. Go yeah. three days. days a week. No, I think Tony works 724. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so. Is in English they say 24 7. 24 7. 24 hours, seven days a week. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, anybody else? And how many how many hours do you work? Uh hours a day. Eight, eight hours, hours a day. Eight, eight hours a day. Nine hours. Nine hours a day. Ten. A lot of time. Eight hours. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this conversation. Here. Between Ben, Jeff, Mario, who is Mario? Yeah, era el tercero que estaba en la conversación. Ah, but it's okay. It's gonna be Ben. Okay, listen to the conversation. I will read it. Listen the first time. Pay attention to the pronunciation. The intonation, okay, the pause, pauses, etc. Let me get the. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Uh, yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around Ten dollars. Wow. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Extra is is extra. Extra hour. <clears throat> extra extra. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Jeff, how are you doing? Jeff, yeah. how are you doing? Yes, how are, you, how are doing? you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? I want, I want to, to ask want you to ask how many days, many days do you work? Do you work? Do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Hey, Ben. Hey, ben. Hey, ben. I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work 
before weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Dag. Dag Gris. They work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? Really? really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? How much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? I see. I see. Right. Well, sometimes there is not much time, time. Right. 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 right? Absolutely. 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 Perfect. Uh, okay, we have also some a um, couple of questions here. Circle the word that best completes the quest. How much or how many hours a day do you work? How much or how many do they pay per hour? Okay, I'll put you in pairs to practice the conversation. I want you to practice the conversation several times, please. Two or three times, the pronunciation, the intonation. And after that, complete this exercise, exercise three. Okay? And then we'll come back. I'll give you like five minutes to practice this conversation, okay? Let the groups, but now bubbles. Okay, so you're going to work in pairs. Please make sure everybody joins the group. Do not leave anyone alone. Entre todos para que no quede nadie solo, por favor. Okay, join your group, please, and practice the conversation. Join your group, please. Join. Can you join your group, Jennifer, Gabriela? Atilio is waiting for you, Gabriela. Jorge, Alexander is waiting for you. Jorge, Alexander, te está esperando. Hola, Alexander, aquí está Jorge, no, no me escucha, no sé qué pasó. Voy a enviar a otro grupo porque él estaba. 
Sí, porque me uní y no... no, no sí, aquí bien. lo estoy yo tratando de... Bueno, diciéndole que entre al grupo, pero... No sé, te voy a enviar a otro grupo entonces. A que practique. Bueno. Ahí está la invitación. Ahorita, gracias. Ok. Entonces, 
Okay, Doki, welcome back. Any question with the conversation, people? We practice for three times. Perfect. Okay, so let me show you something. Uh, and I, I already put it in WhatsApp to show you. You could study this later. How much and how many? The difference between how much and how many, okay? We can hear you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay. When we want to know the quantity or amount of something, we ask questions starting with how much and how many. So how much and how many? are uh, the WH words to ask for quantity or amount, cantidad. We use how much plus uncountable nouns. How much with uncountable nouns. For example, how much sugar would you like? Sugar is uncountable noun because we can we don't we don't count sugar. Sugar doesn't have plural. That's why it's uncountable noun. How much time do we have to finish? Okay, time is an uncountable noun. How much money did you spend? How much milk is in the fridge? So these are uncountable nouns. Sugar, time, money, meal. Uncountable nouns, they don't have plural. In English, you don't say sugars. Yeah, times. Here, uh, talking about the specific uh, when, when we talk about a specific time, no cuando usamos time para decir veces. ¿Verdad? Eso es muy diferente. How many times do you drink coffee? Esa es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Time, como la expresión tiempo, is a, doesn't have plural. Uncountable nouns, 
Refer to things that we cannot count. Son para mencionar cosas que no podemos contar. Ahora, money me dirá usted, no, pero money sí se cuenta, no. Usted cuenta billetes. You count bills. You count dollars. You count coins. But not the, el sustantivo money. So, uno no dice one money, two money, three money. Yeah. It's uncountable. Okay. Lo mismo el término milk. One milk, two milk, three milks. No. Eso no se cuenta. Santa sí. leche. Okay. Entonces, cuando vamos a preguntar de cosas, uncountable, we use how much. Much. To, to know the price of something, we use how much. To know the price. Okay, so we use how much plus singular or plural noun or with the verb cost or be. How much is this dress? How much are these shoes? How much? You are asking for price, money. How much did your jacket cost? How much will it cost me? Yeah, use how much to know the price. Use how many to know the quantity or amount of plural countable nouns. How many days are there in January? See, plural. How many students are in this room? Plural. How many books did you buy? How many cousins do you have? So we use how many for things that we can count. One day, two days, three days, one student, two students, three students, one book, two books, three books, one cousin, two cousins, three cousins, etc. Okay? So, and uh, this other thing, the noun is often omitted in the question when it is obvious what we're talking about. When it's obvious de que estamos hablando, we cannot omit the noun. For example, look at these short conversations. I would like to buy some cheese. How much would you like? So I don't need to repeat cheese because I know we are talking about cheese, right? I need some coins. How many do you need? I need some sugar. How much do you need? Okay, we can omit the noun in the question when it is obvious. Okay, any question with these people? Okay, in the book, we also have some information about how much and how many. Similar, no, how many for countable nouns? How much for uncountable nouns? That's it. Okay, let's practice that. There is an exercise here where you have to complete with how much or how many. So please complete these questions using how much or how many. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's see. Jose Miguel, I will give you the control to so I, I want you to complete question one. Take control, Jose Miguel. Okay. How much sugar? Tessa. Number one, no. In question one. I, this, ¿Cuál? Ya me perdió de todas las Number one. En la pantalla todavía seguimos viendo los ejemplos de how much and how many. Here. It's frozen. Can you write there, Jose Miguel? Take control of my computer. I ah. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, bye. No, oh, give me a second. There. Hey. Todavía está en los ejemplos de how much, how money. Okay, tell me. Okay, let's, let's. Okay, Jose Miguel, is how much or how many, number one? Es que no vemos la pantalla que usted dice, teacher. Solo seguimos viendo los ejemplos de how much or how many. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mistake. Es que My fault. Shame on me. Okay, now. I, uh, 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 oh. Now, yes, yes. Uh, this is the exercise. This is the exercise. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know what we are working. Can you see now the book? Yes. Okay, Jose Miguel. What is the. How can we complete how, question one? How much or how many? How much? How much? How much? Okay, very oh. Thank you. What about number two? Let me ask to uh, Jennifer said How much or how many? How many? How many? What do you think, people? How many paper? How much? How much? Yes, because how much paper como material is uncountable now. Yeah, como material. 
sé que a veces decimos uh, uh, papers, pero no estamos hablando del material en sí. ¿Verdad? Pero uh, aquí es how much. Porque okay, paper aquí está usado como material. How much paper does a printer need? No como papers, hablando de documentos. ¿Ya? Yeah. Diferente. Ok. Number three. Let me ask to uh, Eric Jose. Hours. How much or how many? Oh, many? Many, yes. How oh, many? Remember, una clave, a tip is that the noun must be plural for how many. Okay. For how many is plural. Okay, number four. Let me ask to... Um, Jennifer Gabriela, about number four. How much information how much? is on the internet? Yes, how much? Good. Number five, let me ask to Hernan. How much or how many, Hernan, number five? Um, Quiero ver días y semanas. Um, how many? How many, yes. Uh -huh. Bless you. And number six. Um, Sofia. What about number six? How much or how many? Um, much. Much. And, uh, Not really. How many? No, many, money. money. Remember, how many is with plurals? Okay. We use how much, and we, uh, as in Spanish, when we say cuánto. Cuánta, cuánto o cuánta. But in English, the how many or cuántos o cuántas. Okay, that's the difference. Okay. Very good. Well, uh, I will give you one more to practice. Can you see this? Este otro, pueden ver? Yes. Yeah, okay. Let me give me a second. I'm going to take the screenshot and send it to WhatsApp. This WhatsApp is very slow. Okay, there you have. There you have in WhatsApp the exercise. I'll put you in groups to work on, on, on that exercise, okay? So you can help each other. Five groups. Okay, join, join your groups and complete the sentences in that exercise.
No, me chele, muy poquito tiempo. ¿Really? Sí. Estamos en discusión. Ah, ok. Quickly. Ok, let's see, let's check. Is there... Okay, let's see, number one. How much or how many stars? How much stars? How much? What? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Yes. Two. How much or how many people? How, how much? much? How much pe people live? How much people live? Why? No. How, how many? many? How many people? How many people? How many people is singular or plural? How much plural? People is plural. So, with plural, we use how many? Singular is person. Yes, singular is person. Yeah, la clave es plural. How many with plurals? I failed there. Okay. No problem. How many? How many? Many. How many? How many birds? Yes. How many birds? How many birds? Water. How much or how many? How much? How much, how much water is in the ocean? Yes. How much? Money. How much or how, how many? Much? How much? How much? Uh, Countries, how much or how many? How many? How many, how many countries? Many countries. Bread, how much or how many? How much? How much? How much? Yes. Yeah. And Jennifer. You know, in, in Spanish we say un pan, dos panes, tres panes, but in English is. No. So you talk about coras. <laughs> you talk about pieces of bread, piezas, o la, o los bolillos, ¿verdad? Buns. Oh, I can make yeah, it. Good, Jennifer. How much? Cuántos cientos de pan. How much or how, how many pounds? How many? How many, many pounds? Many. Sand. How, how much or how many? How much? How much? How much? Information. How, how much? much? Yes, I love you. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. How much? How much? Yo tengo una pregunta. Dime. En este, en este caso, ¿predomina la regla de ser plural y singular para determinar si es how many o how much? Que la, que la regla de si es contable e incontable. Es, es lo mismo porque un, los nombres no contables no tienen plural ¿verdad? por eso es la clave porque y cuando usamos en la pregunta nombres de cosas que se cuentan lo usamos en plural ¿ya? lo que pasa es que me llama la atención por la primera porque dice las estrellas las estrellas, las estrellas. No, no, no. ¿Cuántas estrellas? No son incontables. Son infinitas, pero no son incontables. Ok. 
Pero se puede contar y decir, ahí hay una estrella, hay dos estrellas, hay tres estrellas, hay mil estrellas, hay un millón de estrellas. ¿Verdad? Incontable significa que no lo podemos eh, 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 numerar. No podemos, por ejemplo, no podemos decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros. La arena. Eso no se, eso no, ese sustantivo no se cuenta. ¿Ya? Como sustantivo. Ese es, ese es a lo que nos referimos con no contable. No es tanto incontable porque son demasiados, sino que son números no contables. Perdón, son nombres no contables. ¿Ya? Por, y que por lo tanto no tienen plural. Podemos eh, mencionar así en plural. ¿Ya? Tiempo. No, la palabra dinero. Son cosas así no contables. ¿Okay? No, no creo que más adelante se, va, se puede ver eso, ¿no? ¿Cuál es la, eh, los nombres no contables y contables. Pero sí es clave acá. Y el plural es contable. Y vamos a la homeria. ¿Ya? Ok. ¿Any other question? Era la misma, la mía. Ah, okay. no, no. Okay, people, um, it is time. We're going to stop here. I'm going to take the last attendance of the evening, okay? Matilio Ernesto Castillo. Matilio Ernesto Castillo. Present. Okay. Present. Good night. Good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night. Good night. Eric Edenilson Escobar. Present. Teacher. Good night. Eric José Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay, please don't go. Okay. Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Good night. Good night, teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good night. Good night. José Abel Aguirre. Present. Good night. José Miguel Maza. Present. Good night. Juan Antonio night. Díaz. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Marcos Vidal Lumaña. Present. Okay, Marcos. Good night. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Good night. Good night, Nelson. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alessandro Teresón. Here, teacher. Good night. Hey, good night. Ruth Abigail Brito. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night, Sofía. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Zuleima Rosibel Catalán. Jorge Luis Martínez. Jorge Luis Martínez. Con... En José Fernando Marroquín. Present teacher. Ok, good night. Good night, people. Have a sweet, have sweet drinks. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <coughs>
Okay, Eric. Is there anything I can help you with? Eh, pues casi no, no. Es poquita las, las, las dudas que tengo, más que todo. Quiero ver... Porque esta es la sesión de, de hacer cualquier pregunta, ¿verdad? Cuando hicimos el, el ejercicio de el preguntar al otro compañero sobre eh, lo que hacía en el trabajo, inicialmente yo, yo ponía eh, Sofía dos eh, file invoice. No sé si estaba correcto que pusiera Sofía dos o solo el Sofía y la actividad que hace. Ok, Sofía das Sí, yo tú eres y eso se me escapó. Me parecía que estaba usando das y luego el verbo. Algo así. Ver, ver si puedo compartir pantalla. Ok, perfecto. Eh, yo sí lo hice. Sofía, das filing voice. Así le, pues, así le pusía, sí. pero yo escuché a la mayoría de los compañeros decir Sofía, maestros, así. Exacto, sí. El Así das, el, el do o el das como auxiliar no se utiliza en oraciones afirmativas. Ah, no se utiliza. No. no. Ah, como yes. verbo auxiliar, no. En, la, en las oraciones afirmativas eh, solamente escribes el, el verbo. ¿Verdad? En su forma básica. Y en tercera persona, con el, el la, la S o el ES. Es lo que vimos acá. Voy a compartir yo pantalla. La presentación. Estoy viendo el home menu, estoy viendo. Por ahí está. Aquí está. Mira, ah. en afirmativo, en B, usamos el verbo. Solo el verbo. Ya. I go, you go. Cuando es él, ella. He goes, she goes. Mm -hmm. No decimos she does go, ¿verdad? Ni I do go. ¿Ya? Yeah. Solo el verbo. El verbo. ¿Ok? Ah, cierto, ahí está el... El, el auxiliar solo nos sirve para las oraciones negativas. Negativas. Ah. Y para las preguntas. Ah, eso me estaba confundiendo, de veras. Que este niño dos y... Preguntaba eso. Así está, mi. Ah, pues. no sé. Sí, sí, yo lo recuerdo, pero me saltó mencionarlo en el, en el feedback que les hice. La ah. verdad que sí me acuerdo que escuché. No me, no, porque yo no anoto quién lo dice para no afectar a nadie, sino simplemente hago, recapitulo las cosas que, que hay que re que corregir, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y sí, me acuerdo que, que escuché a alguien, digo, y ahora, qué bueno que, que, que eras tú y que estoy contigo para, para mencionar. Eh, quiero ver, yo casi lo iba, no sé si lo hice. No, creo sí. que creo que una oración creo que lo hice, si no me recuerdo. Sí, yo no recuerdo si fueron uh -huh. varias o solo una, pero sí. Uh -huh. es, es eso. Mencionamos el auxiliar, el, solo, no, el auxiliar no se usa en oraciones afirmativas. Afirmativas, ah, ok. Amén. Usamos do solo cuando es el verbo principal. Si yo digo, ella hace la tarea. She does the homework. Pero ahí does no es un auxiliar, sino que es el verbo hacer. Uh, yeah. Es diferente. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí. Esa das, era mi duda. Sí, porque da, do puede ser 
Cuando es auxiliar, no significa nada. Solo lo usamos para armar la oración. Pero cuando es el verbo principal, cuando significa hacer, entonces sí lo conjugamos. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, ella hace la tarea. He does the homework. He does the homework. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Así do... como el... Ajá, diga. I do the homework. You do the homework. She does the homework. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Pero como esta es... palabra de, ma de masaje. Messages o... Um... Mensajes. Quizá la palabra no. es mensaje, no masaje. O sí masajes. No masaje. Sí, más, masajes, eh, más que todo. Creo que lo escribí mal. Masajes, masajes. Okay. Ella hace masajes. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. Sí, das. Hey. Masajes. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Masajes. Ah. Masajes. Ya, ella hace masajes. Como hacer ejercicio. Vean, usamos do. I do exercise. Yo hago ejercicio. O sea que cuando quiera hacer algo como la persona hace, se le agrega ese dos y cuando... No, es que ejemplo, es el verbo, es el verbo. Es el verbo. Se le agrega. Ah, el, es el verbo. Ah, hacer. ah, el verbo. Ah, hacer. Ella hace... Es el verbo hacer. Ah, cierto. Ya. Sí, sí. Yo hago la tarea, I do the homework. Mm. Y no hay otro verbo ahí, ya ves. Ajá, sí. Ajá. Pero cuando me decís... She does make coffee or she does eh, write emails. Eso no es correcto. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, aquí había puesto she does okay. sell in the work. <risa> Creo que yeah. está correcto. Incorrecto. Que el, she el... writes emails. Uh -huh. Ella escribe yeah. correos. Mm, yeah. Ah, ok. Sí, sí. sí. Ya está ahí. <risa> ok. Así es la cosa. Bueno, este sería el tiempo ya de. Va. Ah, pues ahí estamos. Muchas gracias. Cualquier cosa y siempre estamos a la hora. Ok, ok. Sí, okay. Good night, bye bye. Good night.